Is there any more questions here over here in the front? I wanted to know about the Kaaba. I had a uh, question about the Kaaba. I mean, what is its significance scientifically and logically? And why do Muslims circle around the Kaaba? Brother asked a very good question. That what is the significance of Kaaba scientifically, logically? And why do Muslims circle around the Kaaba? Now, many non-Muslims think that we Muslims worship the Kaaba. It is? That's wrong. Correct. I'll give that answer and even come to your scientific answer. I will club both together to answer you and the other non-Muslim misconception. The thing is that Kaaba is the Qibla. The Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 144, that wherever you are, pray in the direction of the Kaaba. In Arabic, direction means Qibla. So Kaaba is only for direction. For example, today if you have to pray here, some will say less face south, some will say north, some will say east, some will say west. Maybe do you face. So for unity, we face towards one direction, Kaaba. So Kaaba is our Qibla. No Muslim ever worships the Kaaba. And when the world map of geography was drawn the first time, it was the Muslims who do the world map first. It was al Drusi in the year 1154 who do the world map. And when the Muslims do the world map, they had South Pole on top, North Pole down, and the Kaaba in the center. Later on, the Western cartographers came and they turned the map upside down, North Pole top, South Pole down, yet the Kaaba is in the center. So whichever part of the world you are, if you are staying in the north, you face towards the south. If you are in the east, you face towards the west. If you are in the west, you face towards the east. If you are in the south, you face towards the north. All Muslims throughout the world, they face in one direction, Kaaba. Kaaba is a Qibla. Now when we go for Umrah, or when we go for Hajj, we do tawaf around the Kaaba. We circumambulate. Why do we circumambulate? Basically because of our God creator, because Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said he did it. You ask me logically what's the reason? Though it's not mentioned in the Quran or Hadith, if I as a logical person wants to think, why do we circumambulate? The reason I can think is, every circle has got one center. We circumambulate on the Kaaba to testify there is one God. Because circle has got only one center, doesn't have two center. We circumambulate to testify there is one God. And the statement of Hazrat Umar, may Allah be peace with him, the second Khalifa of Islam, which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of Hajj, chapter number 56, Hadith number 675. The second Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Umar said, this black stone, pointing at the Hajj Aswad, the black stone in the Kaaba, this black stone can neither benefit me, can neither harm me. I'm kissing it only because my Prophet kissed it. This statement proves that no Muslim ever worships the Kaaba. Furthermore, at the time of the Prophet Muhammad there were Sahabas who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he or she worships. So this proves that the Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. Kaaba is only the Qibla, it's only a direction. Hope that answers the question. Do we have any more questions in the middle line?